So we're joined with the head coach of the under 20 team, John Wall. Firstly, John, welcome back home. And how does it feel to be back home, especially with a busy year that we have ahead? Yeah, based on where I've been, it's less snow, uh, actually. Uh, it's where I'm, my hometown has been had a lot of snows, but that's not where I live. But it's good to be back. It is. And uh, we got a pretty hectic first quarter ahead of us and pretty much a pretty hectic 2024 overall for Jamaica football. Yeah, and for you to commence U20 camp today, what are some of the expectations that you have ahead of the next four or five days? I think it's another assessment round. Uh, for me, it's been ever since March, uh, I've been doing those two sessions a month and then obviously stopping between September, October, November and then commencing again. Uh, December, a small scrimmage against Portmore. I uh, really appreciate that they were willing to play us. Uh, they g gave me a lot of insights too. Yeah. Eric, coach, um, so far, um, how is the recruitment going on so far? Where um, quality is concerned, you're getting quality players in? In terms of that, it's following the timeline that we are expecting. Um, but for me, talent can be found everywhere. Uh, and I'd like to be surprised even at this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, domestically, I, ultimately, I don't care where players are from. Ultimately, what I care about is making sure that Jamaica prevails mm -hmm. and becomes what it has its potential for. Um, camp um, coming today um, over the, the duration. Yeah. I, I, I would understand that not the, the entire team is here, no? Um, you're expecting to get the, the entire squad in by, by sometime soon? It's kind of a more of a step-by-step -step process. For me, this is another assessment round with the domestic players, really. Um, mainly looking at JPL minutes, uh, players that are on the verge of stepping in. And obviously there are players that are anomalies, exceptions, based on their environments. Uh, so for me, it gives me another shot. And then next stage is the Trinidad camp where we'll, we'll have friendlies. And then it will be domestic pool and the North American based players that are based there that I haven't been able to look then this environment mm -hmm. so it's a fair shot to actually give it a full scope mm -hmm. to know who they are how they fit into the group how they can aid us and ultimately for them to qualify for the 20s uh, the final squad um, over, the couple, over the two days they have with the, this um, bunch of players now you think they can maybe squeeze in maybe just a little practice game to see where these players are at the intention with the volume of players that has been uh, called up and I'm well aware that it's the all the all manning the Costa thing too that these players will be involved and out and then involved again uh, that's how you have to deal with it the external factors Does that make it difficult for you? in an idea nothing is never an ideal world <laughs> uh, and of course I have to deal with it but obviously it's more where we all can collaborate to make the international window to kind of an acceptance mm -hmm. to the full year. Uh, I would like to have like a full calendar where everyone is synchronized. Mm -hmm. It's not about you winning or me winning. It's about everyone winning. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, that's the thing. And for me, it would be the ultimate thing is that Jamaica actually start to export players in a bigger volume than it is right now. That's one of my concerns. At this age group as well. Yeah, it um, is. Question again: um, How long will we see these camps um, um, continue? My intention, being my schedule limiting everything, uh, is to actually have the Trinidad camp. That's semi still, and then we are going to have a pre-camp before St. Kitts. Mm -hmm do the qualifiers and then april may to have them in again more the domestics again and then looking further ahead then world cup for seniors as well and in march going back a little bit more is obviously the nations league sem semi-final and hopefully a final who knows um so for me personally it's a very first three to six months is going to be very intense yeah Prior to the U21 games coming up, do we expect to see more of this um, camp for the, some of the domestic players? No, it w yeah, I feel right now the pool that's been kind of served the most is actually the domestic. Obviously, they need to be more served because this is the base. Um, no, for me, it's this camp, Trinidad, and then that's it. Then it's the final squad for the U20s. 
for ahead of St. Kitts. Uh, then we've done a lot, but hopefully we can do a lot more for future things too. Yep. Um, you have any assessment of any of the teams um, you're going to play against so far? Uh, we have scouting going on, but it's kind of like you have to do a lot of uh, groundwork because the video evidence is lacking, let's just say that, and you never know who to expect. I know for Martinique's sake, four players were part of the French Cup game against Lens. Uh, from the U20 squad. Uh, I don't think Lons played, or Lille, sorry, uh, played with their first regulars. They did not, and they lost 12-0, which still is a big accomplishment, I think. Uh, when it comes to Grenada, expectancy is like five English-based players that's going to be part of their squad, and we got them pretty much covered. Bermuda have not started their um, pre preparations as of yet, so it's kind of like a dark horse. Uh, for me, it's more about control the controllables yeah. at this point. What we, what we can do, yeah. Yeah, and coach, in relation to what you said about the Trinidad camp as well, how pivotal that will be, and just a few details, if it's one friendly or two friendly, so that everybody's aware. It's three friendlies. It's going to be two against the, uh, the uh, U20s and one against one senior team. For me, it's more putting the staff really at work too how do we deal with kind of i know the, how the qualifier is going to be it's going to be match day minus one or match day plus two well one consistently because you play in yeah you're playing every other day so it means that the recovery those protocols we have to like mimic that a bit and as well as trying to play in the afternoons when the sun is going to be obviously a bit up and it's going to be hot so we have to try to mimic those external factors, uh, plus the fact that we actually have more time with the players than we normally do. And that's a crucial thing, crucial thing. So uh, my hopes and aspirations lies in the work that we put down, not just the talent that we assess. Makes sense, because yeah. we've seen quite a few times where <clears throat> bundle of talent put together, but they yeah. just don't look good. No. It's, uh, be it as it may, we're still going to win and lose as a team. And it doesn't matter if you get the one or the two, they cannot carry it all. We have to do the work consistently. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.